Hi everybody, it's Courtney Walsh and here is another Faith Friday. Um, I have been moving, so I've been cleaning and packing and getting stuff together and um, I really haven't been doing very much. I've sort of just been wandering around the house thinking that I should clean and pack. But by the time that this video goes up, hopefully I'll be mostly packed because we're going to be moving in like two days from, from there. Um, but I found something interesting um, and I wanted to share it because I know that you guys are kind of needing prompts, wanting prompts um, on ways to get a faith book going. Uh, again, I want to stress that it can be anything you want. It can be, um, you know, a journal where all you do is write. It can be a scrapbook. It can be an art journal. It can be mixed media stuff that you put on the wall. It can be anything. I mean, there's that's what I love about this. There's no rules. You know, art is so subjective. So let you be the judge of what you're going to do and what's going to work for you. Um, that's what I love so much about it. So um, I found this layout. It's kind of old. It's a couple years old, but it fits with what we've been talking about. And I actually would work this into a regular annual album. I, it's it's about my daughter's first day of school. And here's the layout, and I will put it on the blog. But um, you can see it's very flat. It's a lot flatter than what I've been doing lately. So it is a couple of years older. So it's real simple, but there's still some interesting things on it. Well, at least I think there are. <laughs> Maybe you won't think there are. Um, I, I kind of quilted this um, background together. I, I cut the squares to all go um, at the same size and create a background. I mounted them onto um, a piece of cardstock and then cut it out. And then there is a little bit of dimension. There's a foam square back there, you know, on each corner to kind of pop it up a little bit. But this layout is about um, my daughter's first day at school in third grade and um, you know kids get nervous and they don't know who's going to be in their class and they don't know who their teacher is going to be and um, you know it's just it's nerve-wracking and so one of the things that we did was we tied this little ribbon around her wrist and told her that she would know that whenever she looked at it that we were praying for her and that I was praying for her at home um, and then I just put the journaling block here and printed that right out onto the basic gray paper. I'm not going to tell you that when I picked the girl up from school she still had the thing tied around her wrist, but I'm sure for at least the first hour it made her feel better. That's what I'm telling myself. Um, but I wanted to remember that because it's something that we can do, you know, we started it when she was really young, so it's something we can do every time <laughs> She starts a new school, which in our life has been a lot, um, or goes somewhere that's a little bit nerve-wracking. You know, nobody's going to ask her about it. Nobody's going to say, why do you have a ribbon tied around your wrist? I mean, it just kind of looks like a decoration and um, or like a little piece of jewelry or something, even though it's just a ribbon. Um, but to her, it means something more. And so in my book, I have um, a whole chapter about traditions and symbols. And, you know, in faith and religion, there's a lot of symbols. There's a lot of symbolic um, things that, you know, I think each faith has its own group of symbols that um, really mean a lot, you know, um, and I think you have your personal ones too. And so that's what this would be classified as. And that would be the prompt to scrapbook or create a page or write about a tradition or symbol that is faith-based, a faith-based tradition or symbol in your life that means something to you that maybe you'll want to carry on, future generations would want to carry on. Um, because it is, it is kind of uh, one of those things. That, I mean, tradition is, uh, it's, it's one of the best things about being able to connect with people that have gone before you. And so that's kind of where this comes from. So think of a symbol or a tradition, something that really means a lot to you, whether it's a piece of jewelry or something in your faith or something like this that you made up to do um, for a child or, or somebody that you love. Um, that is faith-based, and um, so get a page created about that. Uh, I'm really anxious to see what you guys come up with because this is something that I, I just really love. I think it's really important, and I think um, being reminded and having those special reminders is uh, one of the things that makes your faith personal and unique to you. So that is the challenge for this week. Um, and if you're not already a part of the Facebook group, um, feel free to look up Scrapbooking Your Faith on Facebook. We have a, a group going now where um, we're able to share ideas and prompts and um, hopefully photos. Some people have, have shared some great projects. It's really awesome to be inspired by each other. So I would encourage you to do that. And as always, if you have a blog, link up to it here so we can all be inspired by each other. And that is pretty much it for Faith Friday, um, and I will be hitting the road soon, so hopefully you all are having a great weekend. We'll see you soon.